everyone, welcome back. Been a while since I've done a beauty video on here. I don't wear makeup as often as I used to and I definitely so rarely wear a full face like this anymore. There are a few things that I have been really enjoying. Some things have been actually sent to me, um, some things I purchased, and I wanna talk about them because I do still like talking about this stuff. And I've also just filmed a updated hair care routine with my favorite products and what I do because as you can see, my hair has gotten super long again. Okay, mascara. So. I actually still get sent quite a few mascaras and I feel like a little bit bad because I almost never use them because most of them are just like the traditional regular mascaras. You know what I mean? Like just the regular mascaras that to me, they always flake, they always don't last. They they might look really great when you apply them, but then after a few hours, you know, you get like the the black stuff underneath the eye and I get it up here because I do have hooded eyelids so like the mascara will transfer up here and I've tried waterproof and I don't really like I don't like having to remove waterproof mascaras. I was raving about this mascara a while back and I still really do enjoy this. I actually did a whole video about this. This is by L'Oreal. This is the Double Extension Beauty Tubes Mascara. Tubing Technology Mascara. So if you wanna know all about that, I will try and link that video so you can see what that's all about. I can't find this here at a regular drugstore. I have to order this online because somehow like our drugstores don't stock this one by L'Oreal, so that's kind of annoying. I don't always want to have to like order mascara online. You know, I just want to be able to go and pick it up when I need it. Kind of was looking for a replacement of this and tubing mascaras are a little bit harder to come by until I discovered these at the drugstore for such an inexpensive price and this is all I wear now. This one is Catrice, this one is Essence. Now Catrice and Essence are actually owned by the same brand. It's from Cosnova. They're the owners of the brand. They make two different lines. This one I feel honestly are the same product, the exact same product, just in two different packages. These are two Bing mascaras that are available at the drugstore for such an affordable price. Like Essence and Catrice are so, so, so inexpensive. So this one by Essence is called Bye Bye Panda Eyes. Smudge proof, volumizing and defining mascara. And the one by Catrice is called better than waterproof wash off water resistant volume mascara. And this one actually says on it tube technology. So this is a tubing mascara. You just apply it regularly as mascara and I will just remove them in the shower. So I tend to shower in the evening. I'm more of a like a nighttime shower person. Go in the shower and just like gently rub my eyes under the warm water from the shower and they just slide right off. Yeah, they don't transfer. That's the other thing. The only thing is as far as the lasting power this one, I feel like this one is a little bit more smudge proof than these. I mean, they don't smudge, but this one is on like bomb. You know, this is like on like glue until you take it off. These ones I feel are just like slightly less, but they are still really, really good. And they definitely don't transfer. Like I've had this makeup on now for several hours. And if I look here, there's absolutely no transferal here or here. And that's usually where I start getting transfer is like down here. So that one is the one by Catrice. And the Essence one, I think I might like the Essence one a little bit more because of the brush, rounded brush. Yeah, there's that one. So that one is by Essence. The Fenty eyeshadows. They're called the Snap Shadows. So they're called Mix and Match Eyeshadow Palettes. What I really like about these is that they're so compact. There's only six shadows in here. And as someone who doesn't, I don't wear eye makeup all the time anymore. So when I do wear shadow, I don't need these huge palettes with like 20 or 30 different eyeshadows in there. It's just so overwhelming and it's totally unnecessary for me. So I really like how minimalistic these are. Um, they only have six shades in there and I really like the color coordination of them. I feel like the color selections that they do is really nice. Like they, they select nice colors to go together. Like each palette I feel is very cohesive. I think this is a new one that launched called Wine. And what I like also is that they always have mattes and shimmers. Like these three up here are shimmers and then the, these three down here are matte. So, and this one, for example, this only has two shimmers in it. This one has four matte shades. This is the deep neutrals one. I find that they're quite pigmented. Oh yeah, this is another one that they sent me. This is a new one for fall. 
Uh, this one's called Money, and it's a green palette. That one looks so fun. I need to try that one. They're pigmented, but they don't really have any kick up or very, very minimal kick up because I have some sh shades, like for example, if you're familiar with the palettes by Anastasia Beverly Hills, um, they're very, very pigmented shadows, but they have a lot of kick up. So when you work with them, you have to be really careful or you have to do your eye makeup, you know, before you do your face because you'll have like a lot of fallout versus these ones. Like, yes, of course there will be like every shadow will have a little bit of kick up, but it's not a lot. Like there's nothing there now, you know, I just touched it. Like there's a lot of product now on here, but there's no fallout here. Like there's nothing and you can just, you know, they're not so pigmented that they're hard to work with. Like that, I think is very decent pigmentation for applying with a brush and no base underneath. Like I'm just going like this. It looks even deeper actually on here now than on the camera. Like that's, you can see it there. You can see that's actually quite good pigmentation. Like I'm using a fluffy brush and no base and that's the pigmentation you get. So I actually really enjoy these. They also have here a, a mirror and I also like how it has the colors on the back. I actually store them just like this beside each other in a drawer so that I can see what's in it. So I don't even have to like, you know, open them. The colors correspond to what's inside, you see? These shadows I think are great and I really I like them. I don't know I, th I feel like some people are saying that they don't like these but I like them I like them a lot. I wear them and I recently did a huge like makeup purge I got rid of so many things in my collection. Okay as for base products um, I don't often wear like a full face of foundation anymore Like I have been starting to feel more comfortable just putting makeup onto my bare skin So I will maybe just do a bit of concealer like here and like here because sometimes I get a little bit of breakouts here This is by Clarence and this is the highlights complexion with a rosy glow. It's one of these like liquid highlighters that you can add to foundation like you pump it out you can see it there it kind of just adds this little bit of sheen to it and you can use it as a base but you can also add it to your foundation if you want or just like I said sometimes I'll just do this as a base and that's it um, and this is like a good drugstore version so this is the Glow Cherie and this is in I think they come in a few different shades or different colors and this is light glow. So I think this was the lightest one. So this is the L'Oreal one right beside. You can see it. Can you see it there? I mean, it's not really meant to be a pigmented thing. It looks more pigmented when it comes out of the tube, but when you put it on, it like shears out and it just adds this amazingly beautiful glow. Actually, this one has kind of more of a pink undertone and the one by Clarence, this one has more like a yellow, slightly yellowish undertone. Like it's more going in the golden direction and this one is more in like the pinkish direction or like tan pink. So sometimes I will just wear that in lieu of a foundation. Like I use this, just put it all, all over my face. Um, kind of not around the eyes though, but just all over my face and then sometimes I'll put foundation on top or sometimes I won't um, On some days I'll actually add it to foundation So whatever foundation I'm using I'll just use a squirt of this one and add it in and then blend it And it kind of just makes the foundation a little bit more luminous a little bit more translucent for foundation I really still love Mac face and body. I know it's old, but I love this and it just if I do this on the base and this on the top, like my face looks like glowing and natural. It looks like I'm not wearing anything. I just look radiant. Your skin looks a little bit more evened out, but you you can still see your skin. Like this isn't, this isn't like a full coverage or even medium coverage foundation. It's like an ultra light coverage foundation. So you can sheer it out or you could even maybe do a second layer if you want, but I actually just apply this with my fingers. So I will do this or this one by Clarence and then put this on top and then just kind of like smooth it out. It's really easy to blend out. I started to think like, why do I need this full coverage? Like I, I never wear full coverage makeup anymore because it just makes me look like I'm wearing a mask. I don't like that look anymore. I want it to look more natural. Okay, and another thing that I've been enjoying in this fall time is just reaching for a little bit more of a bold lip. So in the summer, pretty much all I wore is like lip gloss. I would either use a clear color or something really light. Like for example, by Kiko, their lip gloss, the 3 Hydro lip gloss, this is number 11. And it was just like this really sheer, like, 
watermelon type of look. I don't know how to describe it really. It's like this pink, sheer pink lip gloss. I could wear something like this or I would wear the Fenty lip glosses. I like those or something like this by Clarence. I like these ones too. These are the um, natural lip perfectors. So I would wear, you know, something really, and I still wear these. Like often if I'm just like out running errands or you know, whatever, I will wear something like that, you know. Now that it's fall time, I've been reaching more for like, I don't know, a little bit more intense lips and reds. I always love reds in the fall. And I've actually just recently been sent these lipsticks by Makeup Forever and I really like them. These are, yeah, by Makeup Forever. Now I've been a fan of this brand for years. Like before they even started sending stuff to me, I was purchasing from them. So I really like them. They make very high quality products. Rouge Artist lipsticks so they have kind of redone their rouge artist lipsticks a few times i've actually purchased them like uh, throughout the years and they kind of changed and they're supposed to look like a paintbrush now i think that's kind of what they were going for i think it's supposed to be like this like a paintbrush or like this i'm not quite sure it's supposed to be like very art artistic looking so this is the shade number 402 untamed fire this is what i have on right now it's like a creamy formula when you apply it. Like it goes on like a cream and then it's a semi matte finish. So I wouldn't call this a completely matte finish because to me a complete matte is something like a liquid lipstick that dries down and it looks flat. You know, it looks like flat and matte. This is like a, a semi matte. I much prefer these types of products over liquid lipsticks. I'm just, I'm not a liquid lipstick fan. I feel like they age my lips. They make my lips look very crinkly. Now, the only thing I have to say is about this packaging is it does look really stylish. So it has the Makeup Forever logo on there. It does look really stylish, but they are quite tall. So you need a tall drawer or something to store these in. A MAC lipstick from the size. So they're almost like, not double, but they're a good like 30% higher. You know what I mean? Like I have them in a drawer, but I have them in a deep drawer. If I was storing them like in a, like a smaller drawer, they wouldn't even fit. You see this one, they don't fit. You have to consider is how you're gonna store them. I mean, if you're lying on the side, who cares? If you have a lot of lipsticks and you have a very short drawer, like that's the only thing. The packaging is a little bit clunky, I have to say. Like if I were just to look at a brush, you know, it's supposed to look, I think like that, you know? That's what it's supposed to remind us of. But the actual formula inside is really nice. All right guys, so if you wanna check out my fragrance favorites for fall and winter, then head over to my fragrance channel because I've done that video already and I've got some new videos coming there very soon. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please subscribe if you haven't already and give this video a thumbs up. I will see you very soon, bye.